called lettering across the street on the corner. You'll find these signs marking the 5.7 square miles of land that make up the city of Beverly Hills. Major streets run through the city. Here we are in the city of Beverly Hills. real estate developer, his name was Bertrand Green, and Mrs. Margaret Anderson. Now Margaret Anderson owned a lot of land all around us here and up ahead of us here too, a lot of it belonged to her. Beverly Hills incorporated as a city in 1907. beautiful the land was. Many bought land, built a house, some bought additional land and built maybe two or three houses to rent or to perhaps sell. Meanwhile, Beverly Hills Hotel started growing in size. Beverly Hills. What's well, been added on to, as I said, remodeled a few times in 1912. Now we're making a turn here in a moment onto Beverly Drive. So I'll be pulling out into the middle of the intersection here and uh, have a chance to get a good picture or two.
It's a large hotel. Part of it going up across the drive there to the to the right. Just beyond the main part of the hotel uh, are some beautiful bungalows. One, two, and three bedroom bungalows. up ahead, beautiful homes, beautiful palm trees. These palm trees Hills from the mountain home. Over the opening credits, we see Jethro driving the old truck with the rest of the Clampa family looking at all the beautiful homes and behind them, all these beautiful palm trees. But um, can't have this one uh, as part of the street. So, <laughs> on the left hand side, we're approaching the home right across the street very fine actor, and his name is Al Pacino. Hmm. This house is right there, yeah. where that white um, Tesla is parked out in front. That's not his. No. No, his is the white Range Rover in the driveway behind that gate. And it looks like he's home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Large house, deep properties. Go back quite a ways. The Al Pacino. He's 83 years old. 83. He should be cooking with daddy. And he has baby daughter now. As I said, some of these homes have been here for many years. Beautiful maintained, some have been restored. Well, on the left hand side, that brand new about seven years ago. Some of the other ones, um, I don't know, some of them could use a little work, I suppose. But here on the right hand side, this one was fly and finished. Fly and finished three months ago. Very contemporary architecture for that house on the right. Famous of all the streets, the shops and boutiques. Seven years ago, the merchants over there on Rodeo Drive decided they didn't want large buses going up and down their street. So they complained to Beverly Hills City Council. Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills City Council took their side and said, all right, no more large buses. Believe it or not, this thing qualifies as a large bus to them. This is a large bus. So, we can only go down Beverly Drive. And I told our bosses, no, you can only go down Beverly Drive. So they told us, well, you know, I don't mind, I don't mind going down Beverly Drive instead of Rodeo Drive. But the merchants over there, the shop owners, 
they don't mind me telling all my guests, the main difference between Rodeo Drive there and Beverly Drive here, you can find the prices dropping as much as $2,000 for the items in the stores. Really? One street away, the prices could drop that much. So, right child visitors, you're coming back here to do some shopping. Do your window shopping over there on Rodeo Drive. There's some nice ideas. Let's come over here to Beverly Drive and the side streets and do your serious shopping here. You'll find some good stores, some good bargains, some good interesting places here too. This is just open here. Yeah. Brand new for ice cream. I have to, I have to come back and check out Jenny's ice cream. It's, it's busy. Especially on a warm day now we're in the summer. Oh, they're gonna have a lot of business. A lot of business. But here, the farm of Beverly Hills, very popular for lunch, especially for lunch and for dinner. Um, Sharkies, Mexican Grill, a wonderful restaurant, Delicatessen and Bakery here on the left, Nathan House. They opened in 1945. You can see how very popular they are. Sunday brunch if you want to, maybe lunch itself. Cheesecake Factory, coming up on the left-hand side. Beverly Hills location for the Cheesecake Factory. Outdoor table. And the umbrellas. Other shops and boutiques. Now, during the pandemic, the health department said no more, for a while there, no more indoor dining. No indoor dining was allowed. Now some of these restaurants, like we saw, they had their outdoor tables, but it wasn't enough to sustain them. Mm. So, Beverly Hills City Council said, all right, in addition to your own outdoor tables, we'll give you the curb, too. So, get some tables on a curb. That helped a lot. Really, really did. So here you can see, here's another place here with a white house right there from the tables inside. But now, indoor dining is once again resumed, but the outdoor table became such a hit. <laughs> El Forneo, you can see the Italian cuisine at more tables over here, on the sidewalk and in the, on the curb. Side streets here, shops and restaurants.
back behind us here. Subway station. The Metro Purple Line. From downtown Los Angeles, Union Station. Right now it only goes as far as Berkshire Boulevard and Western Avenue. A couple miles back. But it will eventually open up all the way out to the Memphis Hospital in Western Los Angeles. on Beverly Drive. More terrific restaurants that you can see here. Front of me, what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, I'm from Florida. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, now we're gonna cross Doheny Drive just up ahead of us here. We're gonna leave Beverly Hills and we're going to enter back into West Hollywood. Up ahead over on the left hand side is Santa Monica Boulevard. We're going to make a turn and travel down Melrose Avenue. Now, Melrose Avenue has some very nice specialty shops and boutiques. Some wonderful restaurants too. There's one restaurant that has become a favorite with uh, celebrities. The food's really good too. I've been there. And um, it's called Craig's. Just up ahead here. And uh, especially for dinner. Oh my gosh. Paparazzi hanging around just to see some people getting out of their cars. But here you'll find some good specialty shops and boutiques as well. Chonies, also a very, very popular restaurant for, for brunch, but also for, for lunch and dinner. Um, Cicciones, and um, that's actually a Madonna's brother on Saturday.
On the left hand side, three very large buildings, one blue, one green, which you really can't see, and then one red. And this is what is called the Pacific Design Center buildings. Many specialty shops, many boutiques, interior designers, custom furniture designers. You can find all kinds of interesting things in there. The Green Building is uh, used every year after the Academy Awards ceremony takes place in Hollywood. Uh, for Elton John's after Oscar party. And it's usually when um, all the famous celebrities do their um, little schmoozing and everything the back of the Oscars at the Dolby. Then they make a beeline to Elton John's party. It's the hottest ticket in town after the Oscars. And right now, uh, Elton John is um, doing his uh, his final his final world tour. That's what he says. It's going to be it's, it's his final world tour. running game show in television history. The price is right. Still shaping there. So many others. Since 1934, when local farmers and growers started bringing their produce back in their trucks, local residents here, the farmer's market has grown in size. It's a very popular place to visit. You have a chance to come back here. Right hand side, several different um, kiosks. The food court is amazing. Every cuisine you can imagine. Back behind the farmer's market, more high end shopping era and dining area called the Grove. Sadly, the pandemic um, closed a couple of extremely popular restaurants over on the um, right hand side of the train. coming up behind television city through the gates back behind us and I think they come up ahead of sometimes during the day you might see um, some people looking here coming out the gates going around the farmers market to get their lunch One of our um, hop-on, hop-off buses, the Hollywood uh, Red Route, makes a stop 
just over here for anybody who wants to um, visit the farmer's market and wait for the next hop on, hop on bus. the patio dining area of Pink's Hot Dogs and they've been in business since 1939 and boy they get busy they really get busy they're open till midnight except on Friday and Saturdays when they're open till 3 o'clock in the morning oh you should see the line between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock in the morning and it starts around maybe 12.30 but then all the way up until closing time at 3 o'clock in the morning on Friday and Saturdays on the line going down the sidewalk. Look over on the left hand side, you can see a, a small group. A small group there, but wait until we get onto La Brea Avenue here. Time for lunch. There's Pink's. Oh, look at that, right around the corner. <laughs> and yes, they are that good. They are. Yes. No. Right out here. Can you smell them now? Smell the hot dogs? Uh -huh. Yeah. Some new buildings again here. Where older buildings once were. Uh, apartment plus. Very popular Mexican comedian. I'm not really sure what his connection is, but right next to him, Carol Burnett. You know, Carol Burnett actually grew up here in high school uh, in um, Hollywood. And she attended schools, including Hollywood High, graduating. In fact, this intersection we're at right now has been named Carol Burnett Square. Yeah. There's some signs. There's a sign up above you on the right. Up above the traffic light, mm -hmm. Carol Square. There's another one just up ahead of us here too. Mm -hmm. So she grew up here in Hollywood, uh, in a, an apartment, living here with in Hollywood with her grandmother. After her mom and dad separated, later divorced in her home state of Texas. There, Carol Burnett Square. There's Carol Burnett, right out there. And we'll make our way to Hollywood Boulevard, so on behalf of Starline Tourists, we thank you very much for taking our tour.